Welcome to the second video in the NAR Library Catalog series. In this video, we will cover basic and advanced searching and browsing. The main search box for our catalog is located at the top of the catalog homepage. As we explained in our first video, you do not need to be logged into your account to search the catalog. If you do find an item you want to check out, or if you want to create a personalized list, you can always log in at that point. The basic search box defaults to searching the entire library catalog. This means if you search on the word green, it will return items with green in the title, green in the author's name, or green as a keyword or subject. Searching the default library catalog will give you the broadest, but least focused results. Obviously, you can narrow your choices by searching on more specific fields in the drop-down list, such as only author, only title, or only subject. You can also limit to specific ISBN, series, or call numbers, but as these aren't always entered, we suggest you do not use these to query. Let us set up a basic search on green buildings. You can see that our search returned 30 results. The default sort order is by relevance, which works well for most searches. However, you can sort by various criteria. Just choose your method and wait a few seconds for the page to refresh. You can also filter your results with the tools on the left-hand side of the page. Depending on your results, you can refine to show only items currently available, by topic, by series, or by author, among others. Looking at the other topics listed is a good place to start when you aren't finding exactly what you're looking for or as much as you expected. Now let's look at an item record. This is a record for an electronic resource or ebook. It gives basic information about the title as well as a link to access it via our online ebook collection. There you will often find more information about the title. Here's an example of a print resource. As you can see, it has much of the same information as an ebook. This is another place to try filtering or reviewing possible keyword choices under related subjects. If you find a book that is on topic, check the subjects to help you find more. Some titles will also include other online resources, such as table of contents or descriptions, if available. Finally, at the bottom of the record, you will see our holding information. Next to the item's call number, you will see a link to Browse Shelf. This will pull up print titles from our collection with call numbers just before and just after the item you are viewing. This is another way to see if we have other titles on the same subject. Most of the time, a basic text search combined with our sorting and filtering options will yield the results you need from our library catalog. However, there may be times when you need to find the needle in the haystack. For those times, we recommend advanced searching. To conduct a more complex search, click Advanced Search from the top left of any page of the library catalog. On this page, you'll notice a number of search options. At the top, you can combine keyword, author, title, subject, and more to locate items in our catalog. For example, let's say you're trying to find a book. You know it is about sales, and the author's last name is Hamilton. First, we'll select the title field and put in sales, then change the second one to author and put in Hamilton. The default advanced search allows you to search on three terms. If you have more than three limiters, you can certainly add more. If you don't have three, you just leave them blank. Please note that you either need to enter the words exactly as they appear in the title or author's name, or if you're not sure of the exact title words, try using the keyword function instead. We are using the AND Boolean operator for this search because we want to return items that have the title word sales and contain the author's name Hamilton. Note that if you click on the drop-down menu for AND, you also have the option to use OR or NOT. OR is great to use if you want to expand your search results. I can use OR to say that I want items that contain sales in the title or marketing in the title. NOT is great to use to limit search results. 
I can use not to say I want items that have green in the title but do not contain office, for example. We'll stick with and for this search. We do not need to select a date or date range for this search, but note that you can limit by date if needed. Examples of how to enter date ranges are listed to the left. Next, I can select the material type. I only want print books for this search, so I'm going to check the box for books at the right. Next, we'll click on Search. I can log into the site if I would like to place a hold for this item. To learn more about placing holds on items and personalization features, see our fourth video in this series. That concludes our second video on the NAR Library Catalog. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions or comments. As a member, student, faculty, or staff of the National Association of Realtors, you can always call, email, tweet, text, or Skype Information Central with questions related to these videos or the NAR in general.